Pesco Salido, and today I want to give you a quick overview of a Facebook marketing strategy called Dark Post, or better known as also Unpublished Post. Okay, so you might be asking, what the heck is an unpublished post and what's a dark post? They're both the same thing, and all it simply is is a status update that you have created over on your fan page, okay? But it's not showing up on your fan page. So what do I mean by that? In the past, when you could create dark posts and unpublished posts, probably about a year ago, you could hide your status update from your fan page, but it shows up to whoever you target on the right. So now, just this past summer recently, they have started to allow you to create unpublished posts or dark posts that don't show up on your fan page, but show up in the newsfeed of the people you target. So I'm going to walk you through that process. Now you might be asking, why would I want to do this? I mean, there are a multiple, I mean, multiple reasons why you would want to do this, but the main reason is, is to really um, to do split testing, to really get in and, and create different kinds of status updates. So it's not flooding your fan page, but instead it's actually an ad of your status update that's targeting whatever audience you want to target and it could be the same status update that you're split testing with different audiences or maybe you're changing the image up you've created 10 of the same status updates but all the images are different and you're seeing which one's converting better or maybe you're testing different landing pages in a status update so it's really useful for marketers out there that don't want to flood their fan page and ruin their brand by looking like they're they're just completely just going crazy and pitching and and promoting and, and creating duplicate status status updates. It's a great way to really understand some advanced marketing strategies. And if you can get this down, you're going to really be able to see a lot of success in your business because split testing is key to anything you do when it comes to Facebook advertising and creating ads. So I'm going to briefly go through and show you how to do this. The first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get into your power editor in Facebook. And I like to use the Chrome um, browser because I think it works better with the power editor but you're going to want to come over here and click campaigns and you're going to create a campaign so what I've done here is I've already titled it I'm going to call the oops I'm going to call this dark post example okay I've already titled it I'm going to leave it just like that now the next thing that we're going to do is we want to come over here to the left and click on manage pages and you want to select your page so I'm going to come over here and select this page and click on something called create a post and here's where I'm going to create a status update that's going to be an unpublished page post so I'm going to click on status and I'm going to say doing a training right now on dark posts can you see this okay and then you can enter languages or location whatever you want to target here so I'm going to create this post and while that gets created, you'll notice that it's dark because it has this moon symbol right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one so we don't get confused. So you'll notice that it has this moon symbol, which all that simply means is it's a dark post. It's not showing up on your fan page, okay? Let's X that out. I think it's already X'd out. Okay, so then you're going to want to go back to your account, your advertising account, and you're going to look over here under recent campaigns and here's that campaign recreate recreated it's called the dark post example um, and remember that's you have to do that first so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here and I'm actually going to make this a little smaller here so we can see more and we're going to name this so let's just call it dark post example this is for you now the ad types that we're going to do we are going to do an ad for this the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to do this for your for your Facebook page using a page post. We're going to click on that. We're going to click the fan page we want it to go to, which is my fan page. That's the destination. Then we're going to come in here and choose that dark post that you created. And we're going to leave all this empty. We're not going to fill anything in there. We're not going to worry about all this other stuff. And then the placement we want to put this in just the news feed of who we're going to target, all right? So I'm going to do desktop and mobile. Then I'm going to come down here and obviously we want to do all mobile devices. And now you can see 
that that ad is going to be created and here is exactly what it looks like. Doing a dark post right now, can you see this? Then we're going to click on audience and here's where you can determine your audience. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, wherever you want to target the countries, okay? Here's where it says audiences. These are your uh, custom audiences that you're going to do. We're not going to worry about that. But then we're going to come in here and do the age range. So we're going to go all the way up to any age range, 20 and above. I'm going to do target all men and women. Precise interest, this is just like your Facebook ads. Who do we want to target? All right, well, let's target, um, you know, everybody that likes, let's say, magnetic sponsoring. All right, we can do that. And you want to add in all these different um, precise interests. Where do you want this ad to show up? All right, I don't worry about these categories. I'm going to skip past that. And then what you're going to want to do is go to optimization and pricing. And then you decide, do you want to do cost per click? Do you want to do cost per impression? Since we're showing this in the news feed of the people that you're targeting, I would tend to lean, lean, lean a little bit towards cost per impressions here. Uh, you can do optimized cost per impressions. Uh, this is something that, um, you know, you can use default bids, which is recommended. Facebook sets the default maximum bid at a price that enables your ad to be shown to the most targeted audiences. You can read these little question marks and determine what's best for you. Or you can just come in here and say, look, Facebook, I'm willing to pay, you know, a, a dollar for every thousand impressions. You just have to decide for yourself what you want to do here for the optimizing, optimization and pricing section here. Do you want to do cost per click? Do you want to do cost per impressions? And that's pretty much it. Once that's done, you're going to see that post up here. If I were to actually refresh this page, you're going to see that that post is pending right now and once that gets approved your dark post will be running it will be up and running in the news feed of all the people that you had targeted so if you got a lot of value out of this I want to encourage you to be sure to share it comment and like below and I can't wait to hear your results from using the dark post I'll see you in the next training bye bye